So hey guys, Harry here. Today in this video, you are going to be looking at how you can install MIUI 10 on your ASUS Zenfone Max Pro M1. So for doing this, you need to be on the latest firmware update that was pushed by ASUS official or you can be on AOSP extended ROM or any other custom ROM for that instance. I am on AOSP extended ROM as you can see. So how you can do this? You need to download the MIUI 10 flash file I'm showing you here that is based on Android 8.1.0 Oreo. So once you have downloaded it, paste it on your internal storage somewhere safe and proceed next. For, so the next step will be you need to go to the TWRP custom recovery or Red Wolf custom recovery. For doing that, you can either hold the volume up and the power button at the same time or you can simply boot so it will take some time so be patient for that Once the TWRP boots, you need to allow uh, the system to uh, swipe, allow modification, sorry. And once done that, you firstly need to take the backup of your current ROM. This is highly recommended. In case anything goes wrong, you can simply restore the backup so that everything goes to normal. So you need to select the partitions you want the partitions, you need the partitions, the backup first. So I'll take the uh, all. I'll take the take off all the partitions, and uh, I'll take the backup. This will take some time depending upon the backup size. So I'll be back when the backup is completed. So as you guys can see the backup is completed, once the backup is completed you will be greeted with this kind of screen like saying backup completed in 000 seconds. So once the backup is completed you need to go back and one more time back and you need to go to wipe and uh, advanced wipe and select the partitions like Delvic cache, slash art cache, cache data, system and if you want you can uh, clear the vendor also but it isn't recommended or it is, isn't necessary to wipe the vendor. So simply take all these and swipe to wipe. You can check once more. Once you are confirmed with the partitions, simply swipe to wipe. It will hardly take few seconds, precisely one or two seconds. And it will show you this wipe complete sack one more time back and one more time back. You need to go to the main screen of the TWRP, go into install and navigate to the path where you have copied the me UI ROM zip file. I have copied it here. So you need to select this ROM file. Once you have selected this, you need to simply swipe to flash. Swipe to confirm flash and this will start flashing the ROM file. In the meanwhile, I like to thank the developer Sagar Makar for giving his time for porting this ROM to the ASUS Zenfone Max Pro M1. If you like to donate him something, you need to go to the XDA page of his and you can donate him directly from there and you can like his work as well. So I'll leave all the links in the description below. So make sure you check them out. This installation will take some time so please be patient for that as it is the first time you are flashing the ROM so make sure you be patient for that. Once it's done I'll be back. So as you guys can see the flashing is completed. The ROM has been flashed on our phone. It says install zip successful and here it says updating partition details done. So once it's done 
you don't need to do anything. If you want, you can wipe the cache slash Dalvik, but it isn't recommended or necessary to wipe the Dalvik cache after installing the ROM. So you need, you can simply reboot to the system. Either go main screen and select the reboot system, or you can simply uh, press the button just beside the wipe Dalvik slash art cache. So you need to simply reboot to the system. And uh, about the Google app installation, the Google apps are pre-installed in this ROM. You will see this kind of screen while rebooting the system. So you need to select do not install. This is the TWRP application which will install in the system itself. So you don't need that. So just simply say do not install. So after the installation is done, you will be greeted with this kind of screen after rebooting. It says MIUI 10. So you need to simply press that button and select English India. Proceed to the next step. And as you guys can see, I have the Wi-Fi network as well as both the same networks, 4G and 3G. So let me select my Wi-Fi and put my password over here. I have entered my password over here as you guys can see and let me connect it and this was instant, it instantly connected to my Wi-Fi network. So it seems like Wi-Fi is working perfectly, Wi-Fi isn't broken and here are the terms and conditions which you need to tick in order to complete the setup wizard. And here is the two SIM card detected so I'll select the preferred SIM card for calls and preferred SIM card for data and proceed to the next step and is checking for updates it's a, like simple process when you set up the setting wizard set up as new phone and here it will check so as you guys can see i have wiped the system uh, before uh, i was in on aex rom i haven't removed my google account so it will ask me for either the pattern or the google account so the pattern thing doesn't work as I'm seeing over here. So let's try with the Google account instead. So here it is asking me to verify my previous account that was in this phone. So I'll enter it and uh, I'll come back. So guys, I have entered my Google account and it says add previous account or use new account. So I'll add my previous account to this device because this is my primary device. So I'll be using it for quite some time now. So it's done. It's uh, proceeding now. So it says Google Assistant voice match. So I guess Google Assistant is working super fine with this ROM. So yes, it's working. Your assistant can already help you. You are all set, next and here are Google services and uh, I prefer not to allow these all. So I have unticked that, no thanks and here it is asking me for me account. So I will not use it for now, I will add my account later on. And now is the time for fingerprint, let's see if the fingerprint works, it will ask for pattern pin or password, so I will set the pattern. My super secure pattern so it will ask you here and this is my super secure password just kidding so once it's done you need to press the fingerprint scanner and as you guys can see i am pressing the fingerprint uh, reader and the finger is getting detected by the reader and it seems a little bit slow but it works 
do let me know if it's slow for you guys in the comment section below as you guys can see my finger is detected and it's added successfully and here are the additional settings that it's asking me for the access to so i'll prefer not to allow them at the moment here are the two themes after that we need to choose one of them i'll stick with classic and set next it will apply the theme and will proceed to the next step once it's done it says setup complete so now you your setup is completed and you can go to the system home screen so here is the home screen so yes guys the mi ui has got it to our system and it works super fine as you guys can see here and uh, till now i haven't got any force close from the setup wizard till here so it seems like it is uh, quite stable So let me go to the setting and show you the Android version over here. So guys, I haven't showed you the VoLT feature. That's like there is no 4G connection right now. But as you soon call like 198, I'm going to call right here, and I need to just go to the speaker. So this works so fine for this. And we're going into about one as you can see MI UI 10 global 8.8.16 and the Android version is 8.1.0 that's surprising because Xiaomi doesn't give you Android updates over and over again. So it's quite surprising that we have got Android Oreo Mi UI 10, and let's see if double tap to wake works. It seems like the double tap to wake doesn't work with this ROM, but you can't expect much as of now because this is the initial port, and the developer is is still working with this ROM, and this might get fixed in the future updates you will get with this ROM. and i'm not sure if this rom supports the ota updates but uh, i guess it doesn't but uh, you can always check the xdr thread uh, which i will link in the description below in order to get the latest update let's check the camera over here and it's asking me for the location services i'll deny that for now so now as you guys can see that the camera is working let's take a photo over here and uh, i have taken the photo and let's see how it comes it's asking me to allow gallery to access photos so as you guys can see the camera quality is uh, good considered that this is the initial build of the rom so yes guys this is it for this video if you want me to make more such videos please do let me know in the comment section below i'll surely make such videos and as you guys can tell the team section is all in chinese so you don't get anything in english and you also can see the new recent panel that was introduced with me ui 10 for the zenfone max 7 pro and other devices and split screen also works but here split screen doesn't work with all of the applications of me ui but it will work with like whatsapp and facebook and other applications so you can try them out and let's uh, check the security center and it's all revamped it's all new and it works the most important thing it works so as you guys can see this is the Asus Zenfone Max Pro M1 running me UI 10 on it without any force closes and any major bugs but this brightness bug is uh, there the only some part of the brightness slider works but you can always set it to uh, auto brightness so that it works like auto so yes guys this is it let me change the wallpaper over here going in to pre install wallpapers and selecting the wallpaper where i'll select the this one reddish and brownish and the wallpaper is set So for few MIUI ROMs the wallpaper doesn't work but here it does. So this is it for this video and I'll
see you in the next one.